Hey there guys, welcome to the next time lapse here on the channel. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different this time. Uh, this one's going to be a Doctor Who inspired uh, time lapse. It's uh, been a long time since I actually did something Doctor Who on the channel. I did do the TARDIS uh, while, a little while ago, but this is kind of the first one I really like to do that since I've become a huge Whovian, as uh, our fans of the show are called. So this one's going to be pretty much for all you Whovians out there this time lapse. I'm probably going to be filming a tutorial on how to make this this wallet uh, pretty soon, maybe tomorrow, and I do have another regular tutorial coming within the next few days as well. So this is going to be the Psychic, the psychic Paper Wallet, which is featured in a lot of Doctor Who episodes. It's one of those handy gadgets that really comes in handy. So I'm going to be making it completely out of duct tape. I'm going to be using a little bit of my clear sheet plastic as well as a little bit of um, uh, just a little bit of you know white paper really. Cardstock paper tends to work really well but I'm going to use a little bit of white paper for this one. So I just made a, a you know a sheet of tape here. I'm going to fold in half just like this. They're typically made out of leather or synthetic leather, as it, they, you see them. On, you see the wallets made on the show. There's my clear plastic. This is sped up to only two times its normal speed because I, if I had sped it up to its normal speed of four times the normal amount, it would have been about like a minute long video or maybe even 45 seconds. So I wanted to make it a little bit longer than that. So now I have the bottom part of the ID pocket in there and this this is basically what it is, it's just a basic ID pocket. Instead of throwing an ID or anything, you just throw a blank piece of paper which is the psychic paper into it. So I'm, I'm putting on a nice trim all the way around it. This of course will be that signature uh, angle, kind of diagonal uh, pocket on the top left hand corner. I'm going to use my pair of scissors to kind of figure out where to uh, cut that. This is definitely one of the signature parts of the wallet, definitely re very recognizable. I've been searching around to try to find one of these actually made out of leather because I wanted to use it for a costume I'm making for Doctor Who, but uh, they're pretty hard to find, especially unless you modify it because this kind of wallet is not very popular. It's just not something, just this, the way it's set up is not something you would typically see in the uh, in the normal wallet world. So using the uh, size here to cover that up, that nice trim all the way around. Not using a lot of tape because I want to be able to kind of fold this together without you know any degree of difficulty at all. It definitely folds a lot better than in a bifold wallet or anything like that. So now I have the pocket there and a nice angled pocket. It doesn't really, it's not really used for anything, it just kind of adds a little bit to it. So now I'm going to slide the psychic paper in of course. Is probably the hardest part, especially when you slip it in. Once you slip it in, you really don't have to worry about taking the paper out. It just stays in there for a while. And then, of course, you can add a few extra things on it. You can even write on it like they do in the series. So there it is right there. And I'll fold it in half. And I'll grab the other one I used as a template a few uh, few weeks ago. So there's the first There's the first one on, on the left. And then, there, of course, on the right, the one I'm about to show you, is the one I just made. So there will be a tutorial coming for this pretty soon and another tutorial coming fairly soon within the next few days as well. So, hope you guys liked the video. I'll catch you next time on the channel. It's for all you Whovians out there. Take care.